Eat first thing in the morning, you know, it's going to be about 10 minutes and I want my coffee. Wow. What? Did I say something to piss you off or is that you're just a dick? Both. <laughs> Good to see you're finally admitting it. Unlike some of us. What, that I'm a dick? Uh, yeah. When? I was speaking figuratively. When was I? Figuratively a dick. High school. No, I was too shy to be a dick in high school. Oh, my God, no. That's because everyone's a dick in high school, Vince. It's the white male football playing prerogative. The trick is to evolve to something else once you're out. John, you're wearing $200 shoes. Well, first of all, that's not true. Oh, 150. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a shy than in high school. Oh, so you're a no birthday. No, actually, mm -hmm. I'm a thoughtful person who likes to wear nice shoes. And it's occasionally full of shit. Oh. Is there something I'm not doing that you want me to do, Vince? No, I don't want you to do anything. No? Because it seems like I'm being asked to do something by a 28-year-old pot dealer who refuses to progress with the rest of the world, which would be, okay, <laughs> a legitimate rebellion. <laughs> Instead of just some lonely guy hanging out in his box of shorts acting like a potentially violent dick. Oh, my. John, you want to get high? No. Come on, John, let's get high. I'm not getting high. Oh, so only violent dicks get high? No. So let's get high. I'm not getting high. Well, I am. <laughs> what do you got going on in that bag? Uh, you... How much? Uh... two years ago, and when I heard you got this thing, I looked her up, and uh, she's out here. She's uh, in a county prosecutor or something. Yeah, did you call her? Thought about it. You should, especially <laughs> now that Leah's... Uh, the picture? Yeah. yeah. I wonder if she's still... Hot? Yeah. Not a very politically appropriate way to think about women, John. Uh, okay. <laughs> well, here's the thing with being appropriate. It's better to try and do that than to be a complete asshole. The choice to respect people is actually a good one, despite people like you insist on calling fat people fat to their face. But what if they are fat? If they're fat, they probably already realize it without your having to remind them. Uh. It basically has to do with having a couple manners. Mm, is that what it is? That's it. So then why did you ask if she was hot? She's was. Okay. It's not a bad word. If the word is essentially a compliment, then saying it isn't bad manners. Human beings like to be called attractive. I'm not labeling any Randall anything she doesn't already know. And I'm sure she's smart too. Well, then I think we should call her up. And you know, if she weighs 320 pounds, we should go up to her and say, Gee, we're really glad we dated you in high school instead of now, because in high school, you were super hot. And now, I'm sure you already realize that now. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, as long as you just shut up for a while. Oh, I see. I made a point to not shut up. No, it's because. You, you just like to, to, to be a dick on purpose. Either that, or you like to prove that nobody can make you be nice. Either way, it, it gets tiresome. And the thing is, we don't see each other often enough to make worthwhile this little competition for you know, who's more authentic. <laughs> it's not about that anymore. Okay? We should just accept the fact that we're a little different from each other and let the friendship go from there. Except the fact they're a little different from each other. Yeah. Wanna make me? I'll make you what? Make me accept the fact. No. Why not? It's stupid. No, it's not. Why not? Yes, it is. No, it's not. It's <laughs> how else why I know that we're different. You just have to trust me. No, I'll prove it. Or else what? I kick your ass. Um, no, well, I guess that means you are potentially violent. Well, I'm gonna come see you, John. Funny how you get this way every time you talk about Amy Randall. No, I don't, don't even know. I just fuck off. Okay, you know just what? Fuck I'm out of here. You. No, fuck you, fuck you, John. Listen. Fuck you, Look, John. I'm sorry you still feel bad about Amy Randall and that every time you get stoned and drunk around me, this comes up. It was ten years ago. I've explained to you a million times that I felt that it was okay for me to be with her because you guys had broken up. And that I now have a better understanding as to the fragility of 
human emotions, especially those belonging to swarthy Italian Americans like yourself, and those, the situation of those here today, I wouldn't let what happened happen. But these things do happen, especially in high school. And I'm sorry I hurt your feelings. So what are you talking about? I said, what are you talking, talking about? about what happened. What? We slept together. How? What do you mean? How did you sleep together? Okay. So now this is about that. Isn't it? Is it? You tell me. We slept together. How? You know how. No, actually, I, you know, I have an idea, but you never actually told me. You know, we laughed about it. We thought it was kind of funny, but you never actually told me what happened. So what do you want to know? I want to know what happened. We slept together. How? What do you mean, how? How? You have to be more specific, Vince. You were fishing. Did you sleep together? <laughs> we had sex. And? and that was it. Was it good sex? I've had better sense. Well, it was alright. A little on the rough side. I was probably just saying we were both drunk. Did you rape her? No. Kind of. No! Was it like date rape? Like date rape? Did you kind of force her to have sex with you? No! John? I, I don't know what you want me to say, Vince. I want you to tell me what happened. You know, you're filming. Why don't you just lay out the scene for me and show me the Can we talk about this? Sometime when you're not high. You know what? Maybe the only reason I'm high is so that you be high. So for once, you can just tell me the truth instead of just changing the subject. Yes. It was a little rough. Which is obviously something that doesn't make me proud. Talk to her after that. No. Why not? Because I wouldn't know what to say to her. I'm a completely different person than I well, was. Maybe then. she is too. Maybe. You know, maybe she's fat. That's really not funny. Then say it was. Does anybody else know that? I didn't tell anyone. Well, maybe you should. The thing is, I don't actually consider it a crime, Vince. It was not a good thing. It was morally somewhat questionable, and I wish it had never happened, but I don't think it's the kind of thing where I need to turn myself into the police <laughs> ten years later. Nobody's talking about the police. So what are you talking about? I don't know her. I think she already knows. Well, maybe you should apologize. Oh, Jesus. What? You want me to apologize? Why not? It wasn't even date rape, Vince. It uh, was just something that got a little out of hand. I thought you weren't sure what date rape was. Look, I'm sorry. Don't apologize to me, John. I'm not. What I'm trying to say is that... So, ten years ago, I did something wrong. And when I look back, it seems like the person who did that is a complete stranger to me. A dumb, drunk high school senior who thought she just was being a little prudish and needed some coercion. It was bad, and I regret it, but it was a far cry from rape, and I don't think she would look back on it and call it that either. What would you I don't call it? know what you what would is call, call it. What is rape? I highly, highly doubt that she even remembers you it. You remember it? Well, I remember it because it was a pivotal thing for me. <sighs> Your first rape. Stop being an asshole! Well, then tell me why it was so pivotal. Because it was one of the first times in my life that I looked at myself objectively and decided that I would try to avoid becoming a certain type of person, okay? Now to her, it might have been nothing particularly important one way or the other. To me, it constituted something a little more significant. So you'd like to think. Oh, what am I? Suddenly high and mighty? You know, I'm not, I'm not high and mighty. I'm, I'm too high to be high and mighty. You know, I'm just a, a lowly drug dealing boxer wearing scum of the earth. You said it. No, actually, you I didn't mean it. What? How do you mean it? You Change your life a little bit, I mean... This coming from a rapist. You're an idiot. No, this coming from a big, low-budget movie maker who makes movies about what society is costly headed. So you can just forget about the date rape that you were kind of committing in high school. You're seriously disturbed? No, actually, I am not anybody. I was wrong before. <laughs> what do you want me to say, Vince? I'm sorry. Stop apologizing. I'm, I'm not. I'm apologizing in general. I wish it had never happened. And I don't think I'm an evil person. No one's saying you're evil. Sure so. Well, do you think you're an evil person? No. Well, then you're not evil. You know I'm the evil one here. You're the morally conscious movie maker. Oh, whatever. Oh, whatever. Can we stop now? Yeah, Thank totally. You. I think you should call her. Stop, okay? To call her would be to trivialize the entire matter. It'd be like saying, I was like, oh, by the way, sorry I did this. So you did say No, I didn't. Then what did you do? I coerced her to have sex with, with me. How? Ver uh, verbally. Verbally? <laughs> yes. 
But by applying excessive linguistic pressure, I persuaded her to have sex with me. <clears throat> then things got rough. No, things got rough, and then after a while, they became aggressively playful. I.E. rape. No, rough. <laughs> Look, only you two are there, so only you two can interpret your actions. So why don't you just tell me the facts, and I'll interpret them later. I'm, I'm telling you, I argued her. You're fucking lying, John. You sit here with your oldest friend in the whole world and continuously tell lies. What did you think I'm lying? <laughs> because only you would come up with the term excessive linguistic pressure. That is not a normal expression, Don. That's a clear sign of excessive bullshit. You know, because if you'd only done this that, you'd been a little bit more specific. You'd say, if she didn't put out, you start telling people she had BD or smell bad or had a penis or any of the normal things that guys say. But you, you come up with your typical crap, which sounds mature, but you say it's nothing, but it's absolutely bullshit. You know, because the only reason where you are today is because you always insist on getting things your way, so why don't you just own up and admit what you did? Fuck off, Vince. Why not call it? Don't do it! Why not? Because I, I would like you not to. Why not? Because you already made your point! Well, what's my point? Your point is that nobody's perfect, including me, so we will thank you when I tell you how I think you should live your life. That's not my point. Well, it should be. Well, it's not. Why? Because I haven't got to my point yet. So, so then get to Yo, it. Yo, maybe it'll happen, okay? And then I'm gonna go! Just admit it. Admit what? Admit what you did. What even did you think I did? Because so? I know! Wow. Oh. What she told me? I told you what? What did, what did she say? Huh? What did what? she say? Nothing. They get the fuck out of my way, they Vincent! They were not obvious, okay? Just tell me and I'll let you go. Stop being a dick! Just tell me what you did. Why do you even care? Because I want to kill What would that change? I don't know! He said, well, what does it matter? We both knew I did something so wrong. Well, then just tell me! I I paid no all respect and I stuck my dick in, okay? Christ fucking sakes. Shit happens.